our environments are what expresses us either winning or not winning. Similar to epidemiological uh, expressions of our life. What are we doing to turn on genes or turn off genes? Because largely we have certain formal genetics you know, the way we look, the length of my bones, like like that type of stuff. But the expression of the health of our life is largely determined by our environments. And so coming from this idea and this very real experience of my dad's spiral, I was compelled to write this so that ultimately underneath everything I do, to the best of my humble ability of being human, is trying to unravel and unpack something so that liberation can happen, more choices can be available, and so that people can live a life that's great. And this exposure of these things that I didn't have a say in, you didn't have a say in, largely we were born into it, it's not okay. It's not okay with some of these processes and chemicals. It was a compelling notion to write this book because it was like when you're facing this, when you stare at this stuff and the first educator being my dad telling me about this stuff, you can't unknow it. And people will find out in this book, you found out (laughs) in this book, once you realize something, you can't unknow it. And then it's up to you. It's not my job to convince people of anything. It's Mm -hmm. just like, here's some information. There's always a better way. There's always a a much improved way of doing something. So still be in the modern day world, still, uh, you know, function, still win the day, but win (laughs) it more because the body burden of all of this stuff adding up over time, that's the danger. Mm -hmm. Not one thing in here is killing you acutely. Mm -hmm. It's the environment 